These are the supplements that I use, starting off with potassium. Now, the version of potassium that I have is called potassium citrate. And I take it because it helps you with regulating your blood pressure. It's very important also for your muscle function. It helps you in the transmission of nerve impulses. So this is very important for men that engage in physical activities. Now, building on that, it's very important because it helps your nervous system with your cognitive functions. Something very important I would like to state is that potassium is also an electrolyte, which is very important to avoid dehydration. So which foods contain potassium? Bananas, which are very good, they're portable. Oranges, so any citrus fruits contain potassium. And potatoes are a very good source of carbs, slow releasing carbs, and tomatoes, fresh or cooked. The next supplement that I take is called zinc. The zinc version that I take is called picolinate. And I take about 20 to 40 mg a day and it's very important because it is used for your reproductive health so it's one of the key components of the production of sperm cells building on that it is also very important for your testosterone levels because it helps regulate testosterone it's very important for your immune function this helps you fight off diseases so it helps you healthy it also has an antioxidant property so what that means is it, it acts as an antioxidant helping your body against free radicals which are essentially more unstable molecules in your body so which foods contain zinc meat so pork beef lamb chicken turkey my favorite meat is actually beef so i also have a very healthy levels of zinc even without the supplement but um, I do find my health being better when I do take supplements also I would like to state that also the bioavailability of these um, components from animal sources are the best that's why I personally eat beef every day now you can also have it from seafood such as lobster crab oyster shrimp and also dairy products such as cheese yogurt and kefir one of the best foods which contain zinc are eggs uh, especially the yolk the next supplement that i take is called boron now boron is very important for your bone health it helps with retaining your essential minerals such as calcium and magnesium it's been also shown that it helps with your testosterone levels so that's why i also take it it's very important for your joint health it has anti-inflammatory effects which helps prevent diseases such as arthritis so which foods contain boron? Fruits such as apples, bananas, oranges, avocados, and vegetables such as leafy greens and uh, nuts as well. Now this is a new supplement that I've implemented into my rotation, which is called glucosamine. Now glucosamine is very important for your cartilage formation. As we get older, what happens is that cartilage gets worn out and it is very important uh, that you have this supplement because it helps with the repair of your cartilage as well. Now, what is cartilage? Cartilage helps cushion our joints. So it's essentially joint lubrication. Now, the reason why I have glucosamine is because it's very hard to come by from food sources. Hence why I, I take it every day. Now, there are some foods that contain it, such as shellfish crab, lobster, shrimp. Another way to have it is bone broth made from animals. Next is lion's mane. Now this is also a new supplement that I've implemented recently in the past two to three weeks and essentially a mushroom. Now, what does it help with? It helps with your cognitive function. It helps with your nervous system. Now there is a compound found in lion's mane, which is called NFG which is a protein crucial for the growth and maintenance and the survival of your cells. This was recommended by me by a very, very knowledgeable person called Brandon Carter. So I've started having it and well, it's been only a couple of weeks, but uh, I will stick to it and see how I, I feel. It's really important for your mental health. 
it uh, helps you alleviate depression and anxiety. So now, which foods contain lion's mane? Well, lion's mane in, in its original form is a mushroom, but uh, I don't like cooking, hence why I have these capsules. So it's a pure supplement. This is how I personally have it. Next is vitamin D. Now, I've talked about vitamin D uh, beforehand. So I was having roughly uh, 3,000 IUs, but now I have actually found a version of one capsule giving you 4,000 each. So now I've actually upped it to 8,000. So I have two capsules a day. What does uh, vitamin D help you with? It helps you with your bone health. So it really helps you with the absorption of calcium so that you don't get uh, stones in your gallbladder. It helps with the formation of testosterone levels. Hence why it's very important that um, you also have sun wherever you go. So if you do live in a country where sun is not as available, then please do take vitamin D supplements. It's very important for your hormonal health. Now, what else does it help you with? It helps you with immune system. It helps your body fight off infections and reduce inflammations. Now, what are foods which contain vitamin D? Fatty fish, such as salmon, tuna, Eggs, again, um, they're very good. They also, Like I said before, they also contain zinc, so they're very good for you. Beef liver and cheese. Now, the last supplement which I take is actually in the form of food, which is omega-3 fish oil, okay? Now, before I used to take the actual fish oil, but I found out, thanks to, again, Brandon Carter, which is sardines. So sardines contain fish oil, of course, because it's a fish. They, they don't actually taste as bad as you would think they do. It really tastes like tuna. So they're very good. The can that I have personally is 200 calories and is 20 grams of protein, which is amazing. Now, what does it help you with uh, the fish oil? It helps with your heart health. It has anti-inflammatory effects and it's really good for your brain health, actually. So it contains DHA. It's a major component of the brain. So adequate intake of omega-3 has been associated with cognitive benefits, including improved memory and lower risk of age-related issues. It also helps with your joint health because it has anti-inflammatory effects and it reduces the joint pains and the stiffness. Building on omega-3, I also have something called collagen. Now collagen, it is very, very underrated. First of all, it is made out of a fat of the beef, I believe. Now, what does it help you with? It helps with joint health because as we age, joint stiffness and discomfort can become very, very common. Now, collagen helps you keep your muscle mass and strength. It's also one of the main components of your skin. So it helps maintain your skin elasticity and hydration. It's very important for your tendons and ligament support. Collagen is a major component of tendons and ligaments, providing strength and flexibility. Collagen production tends to decline with age, hence why it is recommended that you do have a supplement. So which are some foods that contain collagen? So bone broth. So if you make a broth using some bones, um, uh, it's better to use, of course, uh, beef uh, bones because they are a bigger animal. Now, chicken skin, fish skin. So that's another reason why I eat sardines. I eat raw sardines because there's, the fish skin contains collagen. Magnesium is also very, very important. It is considered as a mineral and it helps with your muscle function and performance. So it is involved in the contraction and relaxation of your muscles. So adequate amount of magnesium will contribute to better performance in the gym. It's very important for your bone health. So it works synergistically with vitamin D. It helps with your cardiovascular health. So healthy heart and regulates blood pressure as well. Testosterone. So magnesium may aid in the production of testosterone as well. So which foods contain magnesium? Nuts, bananas, dark chocolate, but it has to be a minimum of 70% dark chocolate. Last but not least is creatine. It is composed of three amino acids, which are stored in the muscles and used as energy. People tend to use this before the gym or after, 
And the reason why I take it is because it has greatly improved my ability to recover. So which are some foods which contain creatine actually? So red meat and fish, salmon. In conclusion, these are the supplements which I take. They have greatly helped me into balancing my micronutrients because what fitness influencers do is that they focus mainly on the macronutrients such as protein, fats and carbohydrates. But it's very important for you to also look at your micronutrients and be able to have like a balanced diet in order to you to meet all the requirements for your bodily functions and to have healthy hormones because those are the signals sent to your brain in order to perform the best of your abilities. I hope this video helps you and if you have any questions then please comment and I'll make a video depending on whichever you guys need. Thank you.